So I'm going to show you my method of installing a caravan cover. This is a, uh, a Jayco Silverline with a body of 21 foot long and it's approximately uh, 10 feet high. Um, it's quite a high caravan and difficult to get a cover onto it. Um, we'll see how we go. This is the way I do it. I was shown this technique by a friend Oh, could be 20 years ago um, after he'd watched me struggle with a caravan cover. Um, there are other YouTube videos on this which are um, neater than the way I do it. This is, the, this is my technique. So what I'm doing here is laying out the caravan cover and with the inside down. Um, stretch it out so it's completely flat with all of the corner zips undone and then fold in the sides first and then the front and the back. And then roll, roll it up. I've seen this done before where um, you do an extra fold but for me that only makes things worse. Um, I tend to um, pull the cover off the roof if it uh, has an extra fold in it. Now you can see here I'm starting to fold in one of the sides. So, so that it just goes to the seam. And then I fold in the other side. and then that's folding in the front. I find it better not to fold the whole front in, just sort of do half of it. And that way when you pull the cover over, it will droop down the front and you've got something to uh, to get, on, get a hold of. I'm folding the back in here now. Now where did I put that rope? There it is. Just showing the uh, bit of wood, uh, the piece of wood with a hole in the middle of it, with a rope threaded through the hole. Um, doesn't have to be particularly long. It's actually better to stretch the rope across the top of the awning. It makes it easier to wind it up, but this way works. It's just how I happened to do it when I was videoing. wind it up fairly tightly because obviously you use less rope that way. Um, in fact this piece of rope is not really long enough. I must have cut a piece off and used it for something else. Um, that happens around here. So roll it up into a tight roll. I'm just getting the step ladder. I've got as I say, this caravan is 10 feet tall, so you need quite a long step ladder to do this. I'm 
pick the roll up and then carefully climb the step ladder So this was my first try doing this and as you'll see it didn't go well. Um, So after a bit of bad language, we roll it up again and try once more. I've actually put it onto the roof there the wrong way around, so I'll have to turn it around. Make sure you get it into a straight line. Um, what you wanted to do is roll in a straight line across the top of the caravan. Hard to do and you'll see I don't quite get it right when I do this, but uh, that's the idea. So throw the rope over and then hope that it goes over to the very front of the caravan. Um, I didn't achieve that so I'm going to have to get the step ladder. and then move the rope so that it does dangle over the front of the caravan. Now it's not there. <laughs> it's halfway down. So gently tugging the rope so that uh, the awning unrolls across the centre of the roof and here again I have to climb up and readjust the, the awning so it goes down the centre. This is one of those jobs that you can get right first time or it can take you three goes but it's still easier than trying to pull the thing over the top of the caravan and getting it caught on the air conditioners and the vents and the aerial etc. So it's going off course again but I think get away with it. So the rope fell off the end, end of the caravan and part of it is draping down and then I use the pole from the awning um, what the pole with the hook on it to fish the sides of the cover over So that's better, I've got it centred now. I'll drop down the front and then start working on the, the, uh, the last side you folded over. 
you do have to be a bit careful as you can see it's starting to pull it off here it's just a gentle process um, once you've got one part of the front dangling down then go over to the other side and do the same to that side you find it gets easier as you uh, as you go because you can reach it still going to need a step ladder though here by the looks of things just to get it started Once you've got a, a corner down like that to zips, it pays to zip that, that corner up partially just so it's uh, got something to grip onto. You can then help you pull on the other side without the whole thing slipping off. And then I finish pulling down the other side. until you've got all four corners in place and pretty much home free now see the winds picking up that's you really don't want a windy day it was calm as when I started but by the time I got to this point the wind had picked up This job is easy to do with two, but uh, as you can see, it's quite possible by yourself. Just finishing doing the corners. and then do up the straps and then we're basically done um, so there you go uh, job completed I think the whole process of fitting the cover took me something like 20 minutes to do so as you can see this cover fits this caravan quite well 
Um, it's nothing really special, it was bought off eBay. Um, the body's 21 foot long and this was a 21 foot cover and it's nice and snug. We've had others that don't fit as well. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that uh, your next attempt at installing a caravan cover will be easier. Thanks.